Hi again guys, I'm back with another unboxing from my latest order from Mephits.com and this is the next one out of the box as I'm sure you can see this is a another Scoop Extreme by Tony Fisher who got the idea from somebody modding a dino cube in this way on the twisted button forum and decided to do it to a cube. so this is the let me think, is it 10 colours? 12 colours? I can't remember now. But yeah, the, as opposed to the, the 7 colour version, you've got the normal 6 colours on the faces. But you've actually got kind of a a triangle cross section, which is all the same colour on each side. So let's see, you've got 1, 2, 5. I'm just trying to count how many of those different colours there are. So pink, yellow, green, blue. I think there's four because yeah opposite colours are identical. Yeah so you got this is a ten colour. That's right. That's yeah, a ten colour scube. This one's gonna be a bit different to the seven colour scube because it's gonna be a super scube essentially. You're gonna to have to have the centres oriented correctly otherwise the um inner colours aren't going to match up with each other on these kind of indentations, I don't really know what else to call them um, you can see there, just with one twist, the colours aren't matched up whereas on the 7 colour version they are so you're going to have to orient the, the centre, if I've got the centre rotated 180 degrees you're going to have that blue pink section over here and obviously that won't be solved so that needs to be done, once again the clicking mechanism is quite light on this, it works but it's it's a lot nicer than actually than on other scoops I own. Um, I definitely prefer this. It clicks into place just as you expect, but it doesn't. It's not kind of really loud clicking or intrusive. I doubt um, it's really noticeable if you're not actually the person solving the puzzle actually, which is very unusual for scoops. Whether it's by methods or by other manufacturers, the clicking mechanisms do tend to be quite loud on a lot of scoops and scoop mods those that have it so yeah this one looks a lot more scrambled than the seven color version does when it once it is scrambled because of that um the different colors in the indentations so yeah that, that looks really nice when it's scrambled as well uh, once again it's got the um kind of brushed aluminium effect on the stickers which is quite nice on the um, fluorescent vinyl i think they call it german vinyl or something but apparently they're not actually going to have much of this, they haven't got much of this, um, these colours left. So they're kind of using up what they've got and that's it, they're going to buy some different ones. Which uh, makes me wonder how much they actually ordered in the first place. So yeah, I think we'll call that scrambled. I'll go away and give it a solve and get back to you when I've done so. So that's the 10 colour Scubex Green solved again. Um, it worked pretty much as I assumed it would. The um, the different colour schemes on these uh, little what, what I don't know what you call them inset bits um, make it into a super scoop. So you have to orient the centres correctly. So it works very much like any other super scoop, like the kite scoop or the scoop ultimate or anything along those lines. So yeah, if you know how to solve those, you know how to solve this. If you don't know how to solve this, those then one of those or even this one would be a good addition to your collection because it's a nice little extra challenge having to figure out how to orient the centers correctly um quality wise it turns great um there's no problems with popping or catching or anything like that but you know methods have made enough skews now they should really have it have their um system down pretty well with how to get skews to be good quality the stickers are just excellent quality these kind of brushed vinyl or it's kind of brushed aluminium effect uh, excellent quality a little bit too bright for my taste to be honest I, I prefer to them slightly be my colors slightly more muted generally speaking but that's just really a, a personal preference rather than an actual problem but yeah um, if it's something you're interested in if you haven't got any super scoops in your collection that this is definitely one worth considering it's not too expensive and it's fun to play with and it just looks absolutely great too it really does look good i love the way these look without a doubt so yeah i think that's about it for this video guys thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next time